about looking. I'm just going to grab one. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, I love these! So I just firstly want to say a big thank you to everybody who watches my videos, who likes my videos, who comments on my videos. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. Like I'm so grateful for everyone who has already subscribed. I know I'm such a small channel but I just love that when we have a chat in the comments, like there's no negativity on my channel. So yeah, so I just want to say a big thank you to everybody. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So if you're new here then twice a week I do videos. So the last one I did was my Disney store one, I had to think about that was my Disney store one because it had 30% off on the Disney store so that was my last video and today is a very special video so a few weeks ago I did an eBay haul and in that haul I actually told you I'd ordered some more stuff on eBay so this video I do actually want to dedicate to one particular eBay seller the reason being is because when I was actually on eBay searching for Disney as one does I came across some of her items and I just fell in love with them but I thought I just had to tell you guys so she does handmade, I think it's hammer, like H-A-M-A, I've never heard of that term before, or it's also known as pixel art as a hobby, and I just thought, I just need to show you guys what kind of thing she does. So like I said, so a couple weeks ago I went on eBay, um, I found some of the items that she'd already made, like I said, they are all handmade, and then I just messaged her being like, do you take requests? Because I know there were some characters here that I was like, okay, they're kind of like, say the traditional kind of characters, like Disney princesses, that kind of thing. But I was thinking, as I've got a shrine, there's some characters that I would love to have for it. So I just messaged her being like, do you take requests and things like that? And yeah, so all the stuff in this video are things that either she's already done or things I've requested. Now eBay is actually the best way to get hold of her, though she does have a Pinterest and an email address, which I'll link down below for you. So just in case you are interested in these, or obviously if you want her to make you any handmade stuff. So she doesn't just do Disney, she also does like Pokemon, like Super Mario. Um, also I got just magnets, but she also does like key rings and photo frames and things like that as well. So there are different things that she does. So like I said, I have linked all of her stuff down below so that's the kind of thing that you were interested in I would definitely be buying more because when she said she does key rings and Lion King I was like okay that is definitely going on my list so that's something I'm definitely going to do in the future but like I said all of her details are down below but yeah let's just get into this so the first ones I'm going to show you are ones that she already had on her eBay listing. Like I said, I just typed in Disney and eventually this came up. But like I said, if you want these particular ones done by this particular um, eBay seller, like I said, all links down below. Now she has some of them done individually, which comes with little props. But then she also had some characters where she sent them as a set. Now the first one I came across, like I said, I fell in love with this, was this one here. I, I fell in love with this one as soon as I saw it. So it's Belle and you also get a prop with it, which is obviously see the uh, the rose in the glass now I just really like these I just think they're so unique I think they're so like I don't know like the fact they're handmade that's one reason that I really like them um I have seen like things like this before like like kits that you can get like for me it's never been something that's appealed to me but knowing I can actually buy it from someone who does it as a hobby that's one reason I want to do this video for you guys but yeah so like I said so mine's actually magnet so she actually adds the magnets on for free so that's obviously free of charge but yeah so that was the first one I saw so once I saw that I also came across this one so yeah again I just thought this is super cute so this is Jasmine and you get a little lamp as well with it now I just love the fact that with these ones you can clearly see it's the character of say, Jasmine and Belle just by looking at it even though it's literally just like little beads um I don't know how this is done like I've never looked into it like I said it's not something that I've ever really wanted to do but so I don't know I, <laughs> I don't know how she makes them but yeah like I said it's just one of those things I saw these and I just thought oh my god I really like these and then from that I actually went onto her page and then she had all of these other characters that she was actually selling um, as a set. Now these are slightly different to the sense that these ones obviously have like a black outline whereas the next ones don't but the first one I got is actually this one here which is Snow White. Like I said this actually came in a set but you can also get the characters individually if you want to as well but yeah like I don't have a lot of Snow White because if you know me Snow White's not my real favourite but when I saw this I just thought it was really cute so the fact that she's actually got a little bow as well. 
but like I said, the only difference between these ones and these ones, it does actually have a black outline on them, so that's the only difference I would say. Which, to be honest, I don't really mind either way. I think I might prefer the black outline, but at the same time, I'm not really that fussed, so that's that one there. The next one was uh, Cinderella. Now, a while ago, I actually watched a YouTube video where someone was actually complaining that her dress should actually be, like, silver or white, not blue. Now, I associate being blue just because, obviously, I've got a lot of things um, that actually has her in a blue dress. But I think mainly it's because, like, on camera, the silvery white dress doesn't really show up that much, or... And also in the parks, it might look too much like a wedding dress, obviously with the characters obviously dressed up. But yeah, I associate her being more in her blue dress. Now, one thing I have noticed about these is that their little cheeks, so I have noticed that in all of them, they've actually got pink cheeks, and I just think that's kind of a cute thing to include. Now, the next one is this one here, which is Alice. I don't actually have any Alice items. I think the only thing I've got are like more Cheshire Cat things, but I don't think I've actually got anything that's got Alice on it. So this might actually be the very first Alice thing that I ever own. Um, I'm just trying to think, but yeah, I know I've got some Cheshire Cat things, which I did mention in my charity video that I did like, ages ago. Like, I think about three months ago, I did like a charity video for you guys, and I found a lot of Cheshire Cat things. It was just like a coincidence, and there was a lot of things in charity shops. But yeah, so I think this is actually the first Alice thing that I've got so I was quite happy to get this set no one actually got Alice and then the last one from that set was Ariel as a mermaid so yeah like I said these ones are really cool the fact that obviously she like said she's put like magnets on the back as well I don't know if I'm actually going to put these on the fridge or not or whatever because originally I bought them for the shrine because they're so unique I've got nothing like this in the shrine but now I'm looking I'm thinking oh I might actually put some of these around the house because they are quite I don't know, I just, I just really like them, I kind of feel like they're a bit of a talking point because they are quite, not to say unusual, but like I said, I don't have anything like this in my shrine. But I'm thinking, if they're downstairs, then when eventually I do have people around, they might see it and then I can tell them, oh, they're handmade. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there. So these ones I actually saw on eBay, so these are the ones that she had actually already made. But, not actually opened it yet, but I've actually got in here the ones I actually requested. So I've not seen them yet. She did actually show me a photo, and from the photos, I was like, oh my god, like, I'm so excited. But I've not actually opened it, because I've been waiting for this video to open it, so I'm just going to do this now. I'm trying to remember how many characters I requested, because I requested them, not realising she was going to do all of them. I was like, oh, is there any chance you can do, like, any of these? So I basically just saying, like, I don't mind which ones, I'm happy for any of these. But she actually ended up doing all of them. So, yeah, so I've just done that. So they're completely sealed up. So obviously it's nice and safe. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can already see one of them. I was like, oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Like I said, I've not actually seen these in person. I've only seen photos, like I said, because she did actually send me a photo before I actually paid just to make sure I was happy with them. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. About looking, I'm just gonna grab one. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, I love these! So, the first one she's done is Moana. Look at that! Like I said, this is the first time I'm seeing them, so I've only ever seen like photos, but obviously the photo is quite small. Oh, I absolutely love that. She did actually say to me that these ones might be slightly bigger just because obviously the way the characters are, so in comparison. To uh, so like the fact that if I can hold them <laughs> so you can sort of see the different sizes you can obviously request different sizes um, she did actually say to me that if they're going to be bigger they might be slightly more expensive um, she doesn't actually pay for her time she just pays obviously for the materials and if I remember rightly this one because it was a set of four was only about like three pounds or something three or four pounds this one which was an individual one I think again that was no more than two pounds and because I got oh I think I got like six of these or maybe seven I can't actually remember but to be honest these only cost me seven pounds so it's not actually that expensive but that's the first one so I'm just gonna reach in and grab the next one <gasps> Oh my god, I absolutely love this. Like, these would be perfect as, like, Christmas presents or birthday presents or stocking fillers. Like, these are amazing. Like I said, again, I've got all of these as magnets. So I will obviously put some around the house. If I remember rightly, you can actually put magnets on the radiator. So, yeah, I might actually just put a few around the house. Rather than just having them just in, like, on the fridge, I might just put them around the house. But, yeah, so that is the Merida one. I absolutely love that one. So, that is the Merida one. So, I'm just going to see. I'm trying to remember what characters I actually ordered now. But I'm just picking up another one. Oh, <gasps> Pocahontas! Look at that! 
So yes, that's Ben Contest. Oh, and I love the fact it's actually got a necklace on here and also it's included a tattoo as well. Like I said, these are so great. Like the fact that I'm obviously getting excited about these just because I just think they're just so unique. And the fact they're handmade as well. But, like I love buying stuff knowing that they're handmade because like me, if you don't know, I'm actually an artist. I actually do drawings. So it's just really nice when obviously you know it's obviously someone's put the time and effort into it. So the next one is... <gasps> I don't have favourites, but it's Megara. Oh my god, look at that. I absolutely love that. Like, that is just, oh, I, I, I can't, I have no words. I'm literally speechless. I absolutely love these. Like, some people might look at these and think, oh, that's really easy to make. But for me personally, like, I, I don't know how to make these. So I am just so impressed with the way they look. And I'm just like, I just love them. And the fact that I've actually got the little cheeks on there as well. So similar to all of them, they've all got that kind of rosy cheek kind of look. But yeah, I absolutely love that. Like, why would I want to just stick that on the shrine? I'm going to have to put these around the house and then I'll vlog about it for you guys. But I absolutely love that. Right, I can't remember. I guess I can't remember how many I ordered. Um, I'm trying to. I think there's two stuck together. Oh, <gasps> it's Giselle. Oh my God, I just love that. Like for me, I think... I think I've only got one Giselle item because I actually love the film Enchanted. It's actually one of my favourite films. Like, I know Lion King's my favourite and Belle's my favourite princess, but I just love the film Enchanted. Like, I feel like it's one of those ones I could just put on and just watch any time. But the fact that she requested this and then she's actually made it for me, like, this is definitely going to go somewhere in the house. But like I said, I don't actually have a lot of Giselle items, so I think this might actually just be my second one. Hence why I've never done an Enchanted video before, just because I just don't have enough items. There's nothing out there really either in my price range or in existence but yeah I absolutely love that one that is just super cute I know recently I've done a Primark video and a Disney store video but I think this is actually my favorite video I've done so far like I'm having so much fun doing this <gasps> yay look at that that's Esmeralda oh my god I absolutely love that I love the colors as well like there's one thing I didn't actually mention the fact that how vibrant the colors are oh and the fact that she actually got her earring in as well so just like the little details like that the fact she got the earring in in, and also on the Pocahontas one, she included the necklace, so just little details like that, I just think it's so cool. But, oh my god, I absolutely love these, like people, please, go go look at her Pinterest, go look at her eBay, because these, I absolutely love these. Right, I think we are on the last one, and if I remember rightly what character it was, yeah, it was Kida! Look at that! I don't actually have a lot of Kida stuff as well, I have done an Atlantis video, Oh, I can't remember what I did. I think I did it maybe last year or early this year because um, I finally got some more Atlanta stuff yet again on eBay and I think some stuff was from a charity shop as well. But I don't actually have a lot of um, Atlanta stuff, especially Kida. But I absolutely love that. And the fact that she's also included her tattoo on her face as well. And the fact that it's just like little details as well. But yeah, like I just absolutely love these ones. Like I said, I will actually vlog about where I'm actually going to put them in around the house. Like I said, I'm going to try and find a place for them because they are all magnetic. But I think some of them I might put in the shrine because I've had a prop up but oh my god just looking at these I absolutely love these there is another character I might actually request for which is Mulan because I don't actually have a lot of Mulan things so that's another character I might do I'm just trying to think what other ones maybe Tinkerbell that'd be cool to do a Tinkerbell one but like I said she does so many like I said all the links are down below this was such a fun video. Like, I'm, I'm literally beaming. I'm looking at these and I absolutely love them. Like I said, I don't want to have favorites, but... Oh, I don't know, I love, uh, oh my god, no, I love them all. Like I said, these are really great as like stocking fillers. Oh, I might do ones for Ruben, like on a keyring or something, like a little stocking filler. But yeah, I really enjoyed the video. It was such a fun video to do. Um, another thing I wanted to actually include as well, like I said, because this is obviously me talking about people who actually make stuff as like hobbies and things. Um, my ears are actually from an Etsy shop, so I've actually done a whole video of me doing them, so I will also link it. And also this jacket came from eBay, so it was something that someone actually made as well, because it's actually based on the Monsters Inc. Varsity jacket. But yeah, this is such a fun video to do. If you guys like this kind of videos, then please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell notifications. So obviously get notified when all my other videos go up. I think my next one might either be my High Street one or my Pins one. So they're the next ones that are coming up. So if you want to be notified, then please click the bell. And yeah, and that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Later days.